so yeah wow hey guys it's been a really long time and i'm back for the foreseeable future at least so welcome back to another video and in this video going back to the roots of our channel we're going to be building another arduino robot now this one's going to be a, a little bit harder than the previous one the last one that i made was an ultrasonic robot which senses obstacles and avoids it uh that one was kind of easy this one's going to be a little bit more complicated but we are still going to use a sensor that senses the atmosphere the acceleration and other stuff you'll we'll get into it so yeah we're building an arduino controlled self balancing robot and the inherent objective is so that by the end of the video hopefully this robot will be able to serve me some drinks uh a bottle of coca cola or something all on its own and it and hopefully doesn't tip over and just spoil everything so the components that will be using for this project are an arduino nano but you could use just about any control you want like an arduino uno or leonardo or any other arduino for that matter but make sure you use something from the Ar arduino ecosystem so that you can easily program it using the arduino ide and then the sensor that i'll be using for the actual balancing act will be an mpu 6500 or you can just use an mpu 6050 and for the actual locomotion we could use different kinds of motors but for the simplicity sake i'll be using just normal 12 volt dc motors geared dc motors because it'll help in stabilizing the robot and then to drive it i'll be using an l298d other accessories are you'll be needing a base or something of that sort i just use some old plywood base and then some threaded rods and then an old cd player And then I'm just going to construct them in layers and then make the robot. It's going to be really simple and I'm going to guide you through it all. All right, so as you can see I've already built the actual uh, base of the robot. I've actually actually done all the connections and everything. And as you can see, these are the uh, DC motors, the 12 volt DC motors that I'll be using. They're geared. So, it'll have a sufficient amount of torque, so that's good enough for us. But that's not too much of a problem for us, all right? The speed is not a big problem either. So this is the uh, L298D this is the actual main driver these are the two connections that go to the motors that go below this is the switch and we'll be using this for the power supply and this is the actual accelerometer and this is the Arduino Nano so that's the controller that will be actually doing all the controls you know it's actually a, a good practice if you try and use big wheels you know something like this so uh, where is actually beneficial is a small amount of rotation from the motors will yield a bigger result you know so the robot will move a longer distance from a shorter rotation of the motor now i i i do understand that this is very untidy and really really not clean it's kind of dirty with all sorts of previous project stuff but like but i am on a kind of a tight schedule right now i i really need to finish the project right now because i'm working on something else and stay tuned for that all right because it's really good So as you can see these are the actual CD player mounts from an old desktop that I had. I just plucked them out, removed the actual optical drive and just I'm just going to use this case, all right? It's really really sturdy and it's also lightweight. So it's aluminum, so it's good quality as well. So I'm just going to use this as the actual mount. And something else that's really important are these threaded rods, all right? Make sure you get some of these really long ones or whatever height that you like. The height doesn't really matter. You can use the same cord for whatever height that you like. So just make sure you get threaded bolts, right? Or maybe just really long bolts if you like. And then a bunch of nuts and bolts and stuff for the actual connections. That's all the stuff that you're going to need and let's just build it and test it out. So I have finally built it after like half an hour of work and I actually decided to just uh use two stories of the robot and just skip out on this because that will just make it a lot more complicated and it's just frankly a bit useless All right so let's just uh turn it on and check it out
Alright, so it's going in the opposite direction for some reason. So when it tilts to the right side, it should go to the right, but it's going to the left. And vice versa. So yeah, <laughs> the motors are going in the opposite direction. And it's a pretty simple fix. I can easily just switch the connections in the actual uh, driver and yeah. Alright, so I just reversed the connections in the uh, driver and now it should work. So let me just switch it on. So yeah, it is pretty much self-balancing right now. It's a little unstable, but that's only because we are using extremely slow geared motors. So it's not able to like, you know, accommodate the immediate twist. Do you know what I mean? You know, like the torque that this thing produces, like when it's tipping over, the motors just don't have enough speed to catch up with the falling body. So, other than that, this thing is basically perfect. Look at that. Alright, so as you can see, this is a cup of water and <laughs> I managed to find the smallest cup in my house because this robot cannot handle too much weight. So, let's just try it out, I guess. Alright, so I'm going to turn it on right now. Whoa! Alright, so it works. We knew that already because it's not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So, yeah. Whoa! Sort of works. Whoa! <laughs> that totally spilled. Alright, so. I did spill some water, but. It works, right? Totally works. Okay, fine. It wasn't a complete success, all right? But you can't really expect that in any project. And it's it's good, especially good for my first time, right? I'll definitely try it again and hopefully the stability and maybe I'll use a stepper motor next time. So watch out for that too. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And before you guys go, I really want you guys to actually make this robot. And if you do make it, just uh, let me know, all right? Whether it's on my uh, Facebook page or my Twitter or my YouTube comments, whatever it is, uh, let me know, all right? Because uh, you can ask me questions. If you have any questions or any doubts, just ask me. Feel free to let me know. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.